Human history holds enigmatic artifacts and sites that challenge our understanding. Three persistent mysteries are the Tuli Papyrus, Rujamel Hiri, and the Nomali figurines, each requiring interdisciplinary investigation. Examining them demands critical thinking, distinguishing evidence from speculation. This video explores these mysteries, outlining known details, debates, and current scientific knowledge. The Tuli Papyrus, a controversial document purportedly describing ancient Egyptian aerial phenomena, has fueled UFO discussions, but its authenticity is contested. Italian archaeologist Alberto Tuli supposedly copied it in Cairo in the 1930s. The claim gained attention in 1953. Italian Fortean Boris de Rachevilts later claimed to have found a fragment among Tuli's papers asserting it described flying saucers during Thutmose III's reign, 1479 to 1425 BC. Rachevilts later admitted he never saw the original and his translation was based on Tully's notes from 1934. The original papyrus remains unfound, hindering verification. The transcription describes a circle of fire or fiery disc observed by scribes, it was headless, foul-smelling, large, silent, and confused the pharaoh. Days later, more appeared, brighter than the sun, followed by fish, or fish and volatiles, falling from the sky. This unprecedented event was recorded. While some see alien visits, its dramatic nature and the reign of fish resemble Fortean literature, suggesting potential fabrication, scholars largely dismiss its authenticity due to a lack of evidence and provenance. No records exist outside UFO literature, and the Vatican Museum has no record. It's absent from historical records before the mid-20th century. Rushevilts's changing accounts are doubtful. Critics suggest misinterpreting natural phenomena like comets. Its emergence coincided with UFO interest, raising suspicion of forgery. The reign of fish is also suspicious. Samuel Rosenberg suggested plagiarism from Ezekiel. Ufologists called it a hoax. Theory suggests copying from a 1927 grammar book. Rashevilts's later admission of never seeing the original and Thayer's falsification further undermine it. Arguments for authenticity are weak, relying on initial claims and a report of initial belief by an Egyptologist who later suggested a meteorite. The Tully Papyrus seems a modern enigma, not ancient. Lack of the original conflicting accounts, potential misinterpretation, and signs of a hoax point to its dubious nature. Mainstream scholarship dismisses it as lacking credible support. Rujem Elhiri in the Golan Heights is a large, circular megalithic structure with enigmatic origins. It's built from roughly 40,000 tons of basalt in five to nine concentric circles around a central 4.6 meter mound. Walls are one to 2.5 meters high with a 150 to 160 meter outer diameter. It has two main entrances and connecting radial walls. Its pattern was revealed after the Six-Day War. Consensus dates it to the Early Bronze Age II, 3000 to 2700 BC, via OSL dating, though some suggest an earlier Chalcolithic origin, around 3500 BC. Evidence points to multiple construction phases between 5000 and 2200 BC, with the central cairn possibly a later burial site in the Late Bronze Age. Few remains linked to initial construction, just some Early Bronze Age pottery, a looted tomb contained later jewellery and weapons. A Chalcolithic pin hints at earlier origins. Recent research shows significant landscape movement since construction, including rotation, making current astronomical alignments likely unintended. Nearby prehistoric structures suggest Rujam el Hiri was part of a larger complex. Hiris include a ceremonial center, ancient calendar, challenged by geodynamic shifts, burial ground, later use, excarnation site, or a giant agricultural calendar. Its primary function remains unclear. He builders are uncertain, likely from the early Bronze Age II, 3000 to 2700 BC. The Hebrew name, Wheel of Giants, links it to biblical giants. The area had a dense Chalcolithic population. Its construction required significant labor, suggesting a well-organized society in the Levant, 
A study using satellite imagery and geomagnetic analysis showed substantial geodynamic movement in the Golan Heights over 150 million years, including rotation, where Rujem El Hiri is located. This challenges the theory of intentional alignment with celestial events during its construction, 3500 to 2500 BC. The original orientation would have been different, making current alignments irrelevant. While it doubts the observatory theory based on current alignments, other symbolic or functional purposes remain possible. Normally figurines are intricately carved stone statues found mainly in Sierra Leone and Liberia, with mysterious origins and significance. Typically small, 3 to 7 inches, made of soapstone, limestone, or granite. They often have large heads, striking eyes, broad noses, and full lips. Some depict humans, others human-animal hybrids or warriors. Common postures include crouching or kneeling. Locals, mainly farmers, often find them buried without clear archaeological context. Deeper finds are usually better preserved. Precise dating is difficult. Estimates range from hundreds to potentially tens of thousands of years. European records date to the 15th century. Stylistic comparisons suggest a possible origin around the 7th or 8th century AD. Some evidence hints at creation before the 15th century. Extreme claims suggest dates as early as 15,000 to 19,000 BC, sometimes linked to ancient giants or extraterrestrial contact, but these are generally doubted by scholars due to technological timelines. They are culturally significant in Sierra Leone and Liberia, some believe they were made by gods or represent ancestral spirits. The Mende revere them as rice gods. Some tribes use them as oracles. Legends link them to banished angels or powerful figures in secret societies. Many believe they bring good luck and protection, placing them in shrines or fields. They are even used in oath-taking ceremonies. Archaeologists attempt to place them in West African history. Some suggest the Sapes, who lived in the region before the Mende, created them. Similarities to Sudanese ancestral figures support the ancestor representation theory. They are among Sierra Leone's earliest art forms. Their uniqueness suggests they might be remnants of a lost empire, predating current inhabitants. One theory suggests they were imitations of earlier Sudanese clay figures. Depictions with weapons might symbolize power. Curator Frederick Lamp linked them to the Temni culture, disrupted by the Mende invasion in the mid-1500s. Their association with agriculture suggests use in fertility rites. Their precise context remains a puzzle. The Tuli Papyrus, Rouge Melhiri, and the Nomali figurines offer unique insights into the past, highlighting ancient achievements and persistent questions. While science and history provide valuable knowledge, uncertainties remain. The Tuli Papyrus is likely not an authentic ancient Egyptian record, Rujim El Hiri's purpose is still debated, with recent findings challenging previous theories. The Nomoli figurine's origins and cultural significance remain largely unknown. These cases emphasize critical thinking, evidence evaluation, and ongoing research. As new discoveries and techniques emerge, our understanding of these and other ancient mysteries will continue to evolve.